Hello traders, FX Piccoletti here. Today is Thursday, April 13th, and this is my recap of the top viewed videos of the day. And gold came in number three today, so we're going to do a quick recap from the daily down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new Forex trading course available to all gold members. Link for that can be found up here in the corner. So on gold, we had another really good push up today. As you can see, we're still making higher lows. We're definitely still in an uptrend. I suspect we're in a big wave three, so I think we have a long ways to go to the upside. But we are approaching all-time highs on gold. I think someplace between the 2080 and the 2060 area, so we probably will have a pretty good-sized pullback once it hits that. So let's head down to the four-hour time frame. For our time frame, we are bouncing off a of Fibonacci extension level, so we probably are going to see a correction, probably a correction to this last wave up. If I see three waves down and positive up, especially on the shorter time frames, I am definitely going to take that as a long opportunity for the continuation of this uptrend. So let's take it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, it kind of looks like we already got one impulsive down, most likely a wave A. This move up is actually probably part of a wave B, and I suspect it will go down again, probably to one of these lower Fibonacci levels, to make a wave C. If we see an impulsive move up at one of those Fib levels, especially if it takes out Strutzer, that's exactly what I'm looking for, for my entry to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. All the higher time frames telling me the trend is up, shorter time frames, I'm looking for entries to go long at the end of any of these ABC pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.